Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be talking about this sketchbook here and it's going to be something like a first impressions video, not a complete like full review because I haven't used a lot of it but I did try it and I wanted to make this quick video because apparently a lot of people were interested in it and if I could get the information out there for you to decide on whether you want to buy it or not initially first then why not, right? Instead of keeping you waiting for months and months because I'm not going to be using using this sketchbook like anytime soon I don't think. Um, I have like a couple other sketchbooks I've been working on and I want to finish those before I get into this one. But yeah, so let's get straight into it. If you hear like a buzzing noise, I do apologize in advance because um, the dust here in Thailand is just like off the charts right now. The you know, those fine particles, I'm not sure what you call it in English, like PM 2.5. If you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. If you don't, it's okay, it doesn't matter. Just letting you know that there's like a humming noise in the background and that's just my air purifier. Okay, let's get into it. So this sketchbook you may or may not have seen on AliExpress or maybe other websites. I don't know where else you could find this, but I got mine from Taobao and you can definitely get this on AliExpress. I'll see if I could find a listing on AliExpress and then link it down below for those of you who have never seen this one before, but apparently a lot of you have seen it before. If you want to see like its full condition before opening and all that, feel free to check out my Taobao art haul video linked below as well. All right, okay, get into it already. <laughs> okay, so um, the sketchbook comes in like a plastic sleeve, which I've already removed, and then it also has this like plastic paper little thing that comes with it. So basically it says um, it's by Potentate and I'm sure a lot of you have seen products from Potentate before. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Potentate or Potentati? Uh, who knows? I'm just gonna say Potentate. And the selling point of this sketchbook is that it's 100% cotton and it comes in like a variety of covers. So yeah, this, this is mine right here. Anyway, um, continuing with the specs, it has 24 sheets, we'll get into that. And it's 300 GSM cold press, 16 times 16 centimeters. And here is the back. Ideal for watercolor, sketch, color pencil, ink pen. Not sure where that QR code leads to. And then you can have the information there. I'll go get a ruler real quick. Actually, I don't need a ruler. Okay, so I'm measuring this and it's a little, a little bit shy of 17 centimeters. So the pages itself would be 16 centimeters. Anyways, it's like cloth bound, I guess. Um, I'm not sure if you say bound for cloth, but the cover is a cloth material, like a woven cloth. All right. Um, this sketchbook sort of looks like a like a cobalt teal and turquoise with like some warm yellow and black. Okay, so if you're not into those colors, I, I would not recommend getting it. If the light shines on it, then the colors become lighter. So that's where the cobalt teal comes in. I wouldn't say, um, I wouldn't really say it's blue, but for some people, it I guess it can be blue, but it does, lean more turquoise than blue. Okay, and then you also get this strap thingy. Okay, to strap your book closed. All right. And then once you open that, you also have a little ribbon for you, like in most sketchbooks, for you to, um, you know, mark your place. Let's see how many pages there are. Oh, the back here, we have a little envelope um, thing. What do you call these things? Like sleeve at the end? And it does say potentate. Does the back have any... Okay, the back doesn't have any like embossing or debossing. Okay, number of pages. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Okay, so that's twenty-four sheets. 
it does say 24 sheets, so that's 48 pages. So they're accurate with that. Now, right off the bat, you're gonna be like, is it really 100% cotton? Okay, I'm gonna tell you what. When I first opened the sketchbook, my really like first impression was that um, it didn't feel like 100% cotton paper. It felt more like a high quality cellulose paper, you know? So I wouldn't necessarily know better unless I started painting on it, which I did, I'll show you in a bit. But then the second thing I noticed is that if you can see here, the texture, they, they said it's cold press, okay, the whole book. However, there are two textures in here. Okay, so this will show you very well. This page here looks to be the cold press that we all prefer. And this is like a more rougher surface. So I don't know if this is supposed to be cold press and this is like the back of the sheet, or if this is cold press and this is the back of the sheet. From my experience with like other watercolor papers and whatnot, I feel like this is what they mean for cold press and this is probably the back of the sheet. And so because it's been like stitch bound, as you can see, let me take this out. So because it's been stitch bound like that, the papers are basically like, you know, they took a whole sheet, folded it, right? And then that's why you get two textures. And this is the most annoying thing I get. If you guys, if any one of you have used Arteza watercolor paper or the watercolor sketchbook, you know, um, the one with the gray cover, then you'll know what I mean. It's so annoying having like two textures. So for example, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm going to call this rough actually because I feel like it's more of a rough. And then the other texture I, I'll call smooth. So if this is rough, this is also rough. And then we get smooth, rough, smooth, smooth, rough, smooth, rough, rough. And then, so it keeps going on like that throughout the whole sketchbook. So if that's something you don't like and that's like your pet peeve, then don't get this sketchbook. That said, I do feel like even though that is one thing that like annoys me personally, this sketchbook in particular, this rough and this cold press, I'm actually okay with because this rough is not too rough as you can see. The camera is picking up the texture pretty well and accurately. And this as well, as you can see, there is some texture there. It's probably similar to like um, Silman and Burns cold press where it's not completely smooth, but it is somewhat textured. Okay, as for the color of the paper, it is white. There is no cream tinting, it's not off-white, it is just white. So if you like your sketchbook and papers white, so that your colors show up and pop up more, then this is definitely for you. However, I don't think I'd really consider this lay flat because it, you know, as you can see, the pages bounce. However, if you like clip it, why am I saying however so much? So if you clip it down, the pages are like thick by the way, cause it's 300 GSM. So if you clip it, it does stay pretty flat, but there is like a bit of bounce. So if you are like purely painting with like wet washes, like super wet, juicy washes, then your colors may run down and that might not be something you like, but just do be aware that it does lay relatively flat. Okay, so let's look at some artwork, shall we? Now, I only did this for you guys, so please don't, like, I wanna say don't judge, but you know what, judge all you want. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this was mainly for the purpose of showing you uh, if it's watercolor suitable, how, how well it is and all that, you know. So this first page, I was just like, you know, just fooling around. Um, I quite like the flowers, but you know, let's not talk about the artwork, let's talk about the, it, its um, qualities. So the paper itself, I would say, actually, you know what? I'll show you what s sort of like paintings I did first. So then you'll know what I did and then how I came to my conclusion. So this was just some brush strokes and some uh, watercolor splatters, as you can see. Uh, I'd say like light washes. Um, it was just like one layer of watercolor. So yeah, nothing much there, works just fine. 
and then here is just you know some more like whatever just just blah right this is da vinci watercolors joyce's mother violet color so you can see color separation as well as granulation beautiful and this page this spread is rough i believe yeah it's rough um i did put lots of water up here now the one thing that i noticed right away after doing this one is that the paint does seep through these these holes where they've stitched it so this page shows you very clearly that it's been stitched and like sewn like um can you see the thread so there are holes in between and then what happened was see the paint seeps through the holes so mm, if that's not what you're into then just beware but if you're just painting and you're just doing like pieces like this where you're not like flooding your paper or like your pieces don't go through in between like you know you don't paint full spreads then you should be fine but if you do paint full spreads like this then yeah that could be a problem and then i also did this just to see like how well it takes water and if there would be any buckling at all now obviously for this page because i i used a lot of water i basically just you know like splurted water all over the page i did have to clip it down but that's also because if i didn't clip it down it would it was like this right it was like this and then all the water would go down here so i did clip it down a bit if i remember correctly and then i flooded it with water and it was fine like because it's 300 gsm it it doesn't buckle as a thinner paper would and if you've used paper that's like 300 gsm then you would know that it's it takes water well and it's fine with buckling now i want to show you the granulation you could probably see it already and the color separation is beautiful now this is all just one color which is da vinci's joyce's mother violet um it's like three pigments i believe but it's still so beautiful oh and if you could also see there's some seeping through from that blue as well and then once i flip to this page this page i could still definitely like you know paint some more and i could definitely layer like it takes water very well so what i want to say about um the pages is that because it's 300 gsm it does take water well it does feel like 100% cotton paper to me. However, the sizing is a bit... Mm, um, is there sizing? Yes, I want to say yes, there is sizing. Is it hard sized? No. But I feel like there's not enough sizing, shall I put it that way? So on a scale of no sizing at all, where the sizing is non-existent or expired, and on this end of the scale is like super hard sized like milford watercolor paper i believe and in the middle let's say it's like you know your typical saunders waterford arches bao hong paper i would say this paper is like around here you know where it's between your regular watercolor paper and not being sized and I'm saying that because sometimes I, I lay down... Okay, so if you could see here, it might be not so clear or clear to you, but basically this whole part was wet, right? It was flooded. However, the pigments already like absorbed into the paper here. That's why you get like a hard edge here. And then I tried to like, you know, buff it out but it's already seeped into the paper. So yeah. And mind you, this part was still wet when I did it. So yeah, I, I think that's something that's important to also be aware of. It's definitely not something that would put me off buying this. Like I, I would still buy this. And then I also have this page here that this one I just did a bit of a sketch to sort of like you know get my ideas down and it's fine it, it takes color pencil just fine and then this is the piece that I did um, 
I know it's not all that sophisticated, but I actually really like how it turned out, guys. Like, do you like it? <laughs> so I used washi tape over here. Uh, my washi tape is just like washi tape from Daiso, I think. Like, it's, it's not high-end washi tape, and it's also not like cheap grade washi tape, I guess. But yeah, it it removed very easily. I'll see if I could put a video clip of what I'm talking about here on the screen so you could take a look. And like, this is so cool. It, like, I don't know. I mean, the art piece speaks for itself, doesn't it? And like, look at that. I'm so proud of that. By the way, these are people in my life. And this is me. And I think... You know what? Interpret it with what you will. I mean, this piece just sort of like came out of the blue. I I honestly started with like a brick wall here. And then I was like, you know what? I want things to like pop out. And then once I started popping out, I was like, I want to like breathe fire. And although this isn't fire, but it looks like something else. And it's definitely something within me. So you guys like... I don't know, comment down below what, what you think this represents because to be honest, like I I have an interpretation of myself, like a few interpretations actually, but I'd I'd like to know what you guys think. Yeah. Anyway, I really like this. This is also Joyce's mother violet, by the way. Like it's my favorite color right now and I, I just can't. It's so beautiful. Look at that. So mystical. It's so me. Okay, I should get back to the sketchbook. Um, okay, so another thing that I'd like to note for you guys is that other stitch-bound sketchbooks, the pages are all like, you know, they flow, they're fine. However, this sketchbook, there will be some pages. For example, this page right here, the binding, I'm gonna turn this around for you because the lighting is coming from this direction. Look, so basically it was like glued right and then when i when i turned this sheet the glue of the binding sort of like um yeah as like there you go i'm pretty sure you, you could see it's sort of like like it was stuck a bit or like maybe there was too much glue there so when i opened the page to this spread it sort of had that like paper ripping action do you know what i mean like because there was glue there and I don't think they put the glue there on purpose. I feel like it might have just been like it might have seeped through the uh, the holes of the sewn binding. Yeah. So do be aware of that as well. Like, for example, like this page would not work if you wanted a seamless art piece because there's like this whole dip here. But then if you go to spreads where it's like one whole piece of paper like this that's just been folded, then that's fine. You will get somewhat of a seamless spread, but obviously you have the threads there and the holes are pretty like visible. So just do be aware of that. All right, so there you have it. Those are my first impressions of this sketchbook. Um, I don't think I'll do a review video because I think what I've said so far pretty much covers everything that I've said about it and I can't really see myself having any more issues with it because so far I, I think I've experienced everything that this sketchbook will have to offer. But yeah, if you're watching this at least six months from now and you want to know like, are there any updates? then feel free to comment down below and then I could possibly update you on whether I would still recommend this or not or if I have any other like important things that I should tell you that like don't buy this because this happened but so far I don't think so it's a stitched sketchbook so it's gonna be fine it's like the pages are not going to come off but the gluing might like have some of this ripping action as I said so yeah, I think I've pretty much covered everything. If there's something I didn't cover that you'd like to know, feel free to comment down below and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Oh, I did forget. So the most important question is, is this a product that I would purchase again? Now, my preference is not for 300 GSM watercolor paper. Like, I don't like it. It's so thick. Like, that's just not me. I prefer like 200 GSM or like... 150 to 200 GSM. 200 GSM is really thick for me as well. So 
it's difficult to find. So that's why I sometimes tend to make my own sketchbooks like I've done in the past. And that's because I could control the paper weight. However, if I'm just taking out that preference factor out for 300 GSM paper, if I loved using thicker 300 GSM paper like this, then is this a product I would buy again? Definitely, I would definitely buy this again. And if they came out with like a 180 to 200 GSM watercolor paper, like the paper weight, then I would, I would definitely buy it. Like, of course, given like reasonable pricing and all that, like if it's not too expensive in my area, then I would definitely consider buying like that type of sketchbook. And the paper is great. Um, construction, very good quality. Would I buy this for like friends um, as a gift? Definitely. It looks good, beautiful. You could just wrap this up. You know what? You don't even need to wrap it up because it looks beautiful already. To me at least. <laughs> okay, I'm getting raspy already. <clears throat> I don't know why. Am I getting sick? I don't know. So there you have it. I hope I covered everything that you'd like to know. All right, okay, so I think I've covered everything. Again, if I missed out on anything, please do comment down below. I'll try to answer your questions. Oh, and one last thing before everyone goes, I'd just like to quickly announce that there's another way for you to directly support me and support this channel if you wish to do so. And it's the super thanks button below. And apparently YouTube doesn't really make it like a button that's clear. You have to either like click on like some more options or something. So I just wanted to let you guys know that it's going to be on every video. Like it's just how it is because I've turned it on. So if you'd like to support this channel, please do consider using that if you so wish to. All right, I think that's about it for this review. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drink lots of water and stay hydrated.